Hey guys, I'm Lawrence from Odd Cosplay, and today we're doing the short version of Ruby's Blade. Um, I got two of them, but I don't know what to do with this extra one, so I'm gonna give it away to a lucky commenter in the comments down below. Well, the giveaway will be in the description, so let me know where you're from. If you're from Reddit, Instagram, or Facebook, or maybe you're just scrolling through YouTube, leave a comment down below on how you got to this video, and I will pick the winner. However, I do need your help. If we can hit that like button, I hate asking for that, or leaving a comment down below so that we can get this video to 100,000 views. I will put the SCLs out for everyone, for free, no charge. Um, but if we can't hit that mark, then it's gonna be in my store um, for you to pick up. Okay, with that being said, let's get started. So these are the files we are working with. This is a pretty standard print job, except this. These are print and place magnetic parts. You'll need this to access the battery. Here are the electronics, link in the description. Most importantly, you'll need this diagram I made, link in the description. Let's start by cutting 70 inches of LEDs. We'll need two of these for the length of the blade. Next, cut two five inch LED strips. These will be for the handle. Mark the flow of current. If you follow my instructions, you should have two long LED strips for the blade and two short LEDs for the handle. We need to connect our LEDs, so let's start with cutting two 5 inches wire. These will be the connection wires for the short LED pair. Color doesn't matter, the important part is pay attention to your positive and ground wire. Make sure these strips are longer than the handle grip. Next, we'll need to cut these main wires. These should be at least 10 inches. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing this is not your first time soldering. But if it is, you should check out the long tutorial right here. To make this easier, we'll use rosin paste to prepare the wires and copper pads. Tape down the LED strips and prepare the copper pads with some solder. Then connect the positive wire and ground wires like so. We'll do something similar to the LED for the handle. Eyeball and cut the length you need using the blade as a reference. And just like before, connect wires to their correct copper pads. We're using this battery, link in the description. Do not cut off the JST, you'll need this to charge the battery. Instead we're going to make this spice point. Do this for the positive and ground wires. Let's take those main cables from earlier and connect them to the splice points. To make sure we haven't messed up, let's check the voltage output. 11.68 is close to what we expect. More importantly, we should absolutely cover any exposed wire or connection with electrical tape before moving on. Along the positive main cables is where we will insert our power button. This is about one inch or two inch after the Y split. To fit this battery, the JST end must face the pommel end. Lead with a JST connection first. 
followed by the power switch before fitting any part of the battery into the handle. There's only one channel for all these wires to run along, right here. Carefully push the power switch into its slot. Do not push too hard, it might break the power switch. Then super glue around the edges. Slide the LED into the channel, like so. But before we push the battery into the handle, we need to make another splice point for the positive cables. The splice point should sit somewhere in the middle of the handle. You want to eyeball the position like so. Twist the two cables together, then solder the connection. Do the same thing to the ground wires. And like always, cover the splice points with electrical tape. Now it's time to glue that magnetic piece into the handle. Remove the purple shell and grab the slim slab. Peel off the adhesive and begin wrapping the slab with the LED strip. Try not to leave any gaps. Test the LED to make sure everything is still working, then cover the wrapped LED with a purple end, leaving an exposed end of the slab. Cover the slab with a purple shell, then super glue this pommel piece to the handle. Next, run the main cables up and along the other slab like so. With the main cables in the slit, wrap the LEDs around the slab. Super glue this purple shell to the handle. Lastly, super glue the slab to the cross guard, making sure the main cables are hanging out like so. The half we put together will have these walls. Connect the piece following the constellation on the blade. Take our long LEDs and make splice points on the positive and ground wire. I'm using alligator clips to test if our battery will power all the LEDs before moving forward. Peel off the adhesive back of the LED and attach them to the walls. Continue along the edge until you get to the tip. Here we will make a U-turn and attach the LED strip to itself. Do the same thing to the other side of the blade. I've attached the other side of the blade, but I recommend doing this part after you attach the main cables that run from the cross guard to the blade. You'll see the next step what I mean. Once the blade is covered, you'll have less room to connect the main cables to the LEDs, which makes this process harder than necessary.
tape the slice points. Then super glue the blade to the cross guard. All that's left is to super glue the cross guard. Firmly secure the two halves together. Lastly, super glue the pummel. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. I know that was super quick, but if you want more details, you can check out that longer video, or if you wanted to expand into some chapters, check out that video. Um, link to the description to the STL as well as the kit will be in the description. If you have any question on any step, please leave in the comments, or if you wanna just show some love, leave in the comments and hit that thumbs up button. With that being said, all right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.